what is your go-to race replay to watch when you're having a bad day? Um, I like to watch uh, the 2003 Gold Cup and Saucer. So the first year Mark won it with the uh, Sandals Dexter. And uh, if I'm in a bad mood, I've watched, I don't know how many times I've seen it, maybe uh, 2,000. <laughs> I, you know, if, I, if I'm just down on racing or having no luck or ahead of me just a bad day or just want to hear Vance Cameron <laughs> announce, I'll, uh, I'll turn that race on. It's probably one of my favorites to watch. When I'm having a bad day, well, like I could say uh, Little Black Book is probably one of them. And uh, I like to watch uh, some of the bigger races. You see Campbell, um, Piercy going with some of them good horses. I don't know exactly when, but... Uh, they're a lot of fun to watch, and uh, like Father Patrick, he's a nice horse to watch. Horses like that really uh, impress you. Uh, probably Mac LaBelle and the Hamiltonian. Uh, definitely the Breeders' Crown with Big Jim. He, uh, that just uh, still gives me goosebumps when I watch that replay. Uh, probably the Breeders' Crown when I won it in, uh, I think it was 2002, with the Totally Western horse trained by Ben Wallace, you know, like... It's my only British Crown race, so uh, but it was a it was a great race. It was a great night. Oh, there's a few. Um, Little Miss Sporty winning my first win at the big track at, at Woodbine. That was a good one. And anytime Hollywood Ham race is good. A couple times when Jody drove him actually. Oh, well, probably the last one I won, I guess. Any, anything, I guess. Oh, there's <laughs> there's a lot of bad days, so uh, usually you gotta go back. If I ever go back, just watch uh, maybe the last couple of races. If I win a race or something like that, go back and watch replay or uh, yeah, just anything. Maybe just stay even and stay away from the races and watch a hockey video or something just to get my mind off it. Well, the Battle of Waterloo, I watched a lot when I was younger, but uh, recently I don't I don't I, didn't, I don't watch a lot of replays. To be honest with you, <laughs> the last win much sometimes can be a while. My last win. I used to have an old horse called Ray's Prince and uh, he was another lame old horse but uh, Ray would circle up an awful lot from the backfield you know from the unlikely positions so especially in London he loved the Western Fair Raceway so uh, lots of times I'll go back to those uh, those races and watch them and uh, it would be Ray's Prince coming from the backfield. Um, it's actually, it's Aloof Desire, and uh, it's the, uh, um, I think it's a Simcoe here. Um, she was beat, and she was lame, and she came back and won, and it was, uh, it was just one of those that showed her true grit. Oh, Platoon Seal, sir, and, uh, and he didn't win, but he was second in the Super Final, but uh, yeah, I go to that one quite, quite a bit. <laughs> Probably I win with Eagle Luck in the Molson Pace. That was a big race for me. I like watching that race. Uh, again, I got to go back to Sandpale. Sandpale, Dream Fair, Eternal. Both of them gave me huge thrills, you know, so I would say probably either one of those two. The last one I'll win. Um, I like to watch them all. Um, like after a night of racing, if I'm having a bad day, you know, you just they always like to watch everything. I don't have a particular good race that perks up my day, but I like to go over everything I've done right, done wrong. It's always nice to watch the wins, but, you know, you learn a lot from watching your mistakes too after a night of racing.